properties of inequalities so let me show you some properties of inequalities there are six important properties so i'll explain you one by one first one adding the same number to each side of the inequality does not change the inequality so if uh, for example so that one adding the same number adding the same number if you add any number each side of the inequality does not change the inequality so you can't change any values for example 3 is greater than 2 right if 3 is greater than 2 adding same number on both sides so if you add the both sides same number for example 3 is greater than 2 i am adding okay plus same number should add i am adding number 9 9 both sides then 3 plus 9 is 12 and 2 plus 9 is 11 so 12 is greater than 11 so value i mean inequality will not change so adding the same number to each side of the inequality does not change the inequality okay that is first one if you add any number same side will not change not only this uh, adding means negative number also you can add the same for example 16 is less than 20 Now 16 is less than 20. I am adding both sides minus 2 and minus 2. 16 minus 2 is 14. 20 minus 2 is 18. Yes, so 14 is less than 18. So value not change. So adding the same number on both sides, value not change. Now second property is the first one. I mean, you see second. subtracting the same number from each side of the inequality also does not change the inequality subtracting same number subtracting same number from each side even if you do uh, subtracting the same number on both sides or each side of an inequality does not change the inequality so let's see example or will that mean if for example a is greater than b if a is greater than b then actually a is greater than b i am subtracting both sides minus c so a minus c is also greater than b minus c you can write and if is a is less than b even then a minus c is less than b minus c Okay, if it is a is less than b, then a minus c also less than b minus c. You can see example here. Okay, we will take some value. Now minus eight is less than plus two, positive two, right? So I need to subtract the same number both sides. Now minus eight less than two, and both sides I have to subtract the same number. Now Minus minus, I'm taking minus four minus four. So both sides I'm subtracting four. Now eight minus eight minus four is uh, minus twelve. Two minus four is minus two. Yes. So minus twelve is less than minus two. This also two. <coughs> okay. That is the second rule. Subtracting the same number from each side, so it does not change the uh, inequality. Right. Now. multiplication process so the third property there are six properties so this is the third one now this is multiplying each side of inequality by positive number okay multiplying multiplying each side each side of an equation by some positive number if you multiply both sides with positive number also does not change the inequality so this is important here positive number multiplying the both sides only with positive number so see here that means for example 6 is greater than 
minus 2. So I am multiplying both sides with positive number. 6 is greater than minus 2 is given. I need to multiply with some positive number into take plus 4 and plus 4. Okay, positive number. You can check this rule. 6, 4, 0. 24 and minus 2 into 4 is minus 8. Yes, obviously it's correct. 24 is greater than minus 8. So multiplying each side only with the positive number does not change. So does not change the inequality. That is one. And in the same multiplication case, you see the important uh, property here. This is most important. Multiplying each side of inequality by negative number. Okay. Multiplying each side of an equation of an in equation by negative number negative number then reverse the inequality So most of the cases, many uh, few students will mistake, uh, do mistake in this. Multiplying each side by negative number. So let me show example. For example, if you take uh, A is greater than B. Okay, if A is greater than B. And one C is one number that is less than 0. That means negative. Then A into C and B into C. If I multiply, then instead of greater than, we should keep less than symbol. So AC is less than BC. And similarly, if A is less than B and C is a number that is less than 0, then same AC and BC. It is A is less than B, right? So AC is greater than BC. Okay, I'll explain you with examples. So let's see the example now. So I am taking first A is greater than B. Now Take 3 is greater than 1. Okay. 3 is greater than 1. We know it. Now take one number. It should be less than 0. So I am taking minus 2. Minus 2 I need to multiply both sides. Now 3 is here and 1 is here. Both sides I need to multiply with negative number. So negative number is here minus 2. If you simplify this both, 3 into minus 2 is minus 6. 1 into minus 2 is minus 2. Now you tell me, minus 6 and minus 2. So minus 6 itself is less than minus 2. Okay, in the place of greater than, this becomes less than. And see one more example. Okay, take one. For example, minus 2 is less than plus 4. Okay, we know it. Minus 2 is less than plus 4. Now minus 2. 2 less than 4. Both sides and multiplying with some negative number. So take any negative number. Okay, taking minus 9, minus 9. See here, minus 2 into minus 9 is plus 18 because minus 2 minus plus. And 4 into minus 9, that is 36. Minus 36. 18 and minus 36. So obviously 18 is greater than minus 36. Okay, this is important rule. If you Multiplying each side of the uh, inequation with the negative number, the negative number, then reverse the inequality. You should reverse the inequality. First, adding, subtracting, and multiplying with the positive numbers, there is no change. But multiplying each side of the inequation with the negative number, then you need to reverse the negative rule. Fine. Now, see your one more fifth one. This is about the division. Divide each side of inequality by positive number also does not change. Same like multiplication. Divide each side of an equation with a positive number. With a positive number, if you divide each side, there is no any change. So if A is greater than B and for example C is greater than 0, then A divided by C is greater than same B divided by C will come. Then, see example, 4 
is greater than minus h so take one positive number i'm taking 6 so take the 6 and divide take 6 and divide by 6 and by 6 4 by 6 is 2 by 3 is greater than minus this is 4 by 3 yes so obviously 2 by 3 is greater than minus 4 by 3 and in case next sixth one this is uh, with the positive number we are dividing and one more property dividing each side of an inequality by negative number so if you divide by negative number same how we did in multiplication we need to reverse the inequality okay reverse the inequality we need to change now see here example 9 is greater than first 3 okay 9 is greater than 3 now we need to divide both sides with the n negative number so negative number i am taking minus 6 and with minus 6 now if you simplify this this is 3 2s are 3 3s are so it's minus 3 by 2 and this is 3 1s are 3 2s are minus 1 by 2 so in case minus 3 by 2 is actually less than minus 1 by 2 okay because denotes are the same minus 3 is less than minus 1 okay fractions if you can change also you can say so this is nothing but you can cut cancel to minus 3 is less than minus 1 okay see one more example which is easy for you okay taking 16 is less than 40 and divide with negative number both sides so I'm dividing with negative number both sides like minus 2 minus 2 so 16 by minus 2 is minus 8 40 by minus 2 is minus 20 but minus 8 is uh, greater right minus 8 is greater than minus 20 so these are the six important rules and adding subtracting there is no change but multiplying and dividing with the positive number also there is no change only multiplying and dividing with the negative number we need to reverse the inequality these are the important rules these are the important properties of inequality we need to uh, follow for solving the problems in inequations okay then i will show you some problems so how to represent the solution set a number line and solving the problems of inequalities also using this property so i explain now